So I crossed into the European border, show the Hungarian side, the Hungarian border with Ukraine. So I had to get a ticket from Hungary straight to Berlin. And then I had a valid ticket. The charter, the UN charter says, hey, these countries respect human rights, so they will give us a right of passage, right? I get to Frankfurt, still on a train, and then the Bundes police came in, they stopped our train, they were like, I don't know, 15, 20 of them with dogs, they stormed our train, they walked into my coach, said, do you have a ticket? I produced my ticket because I paid for my ticket, 100 and something, I still have the ticket in my bag, 100 and something euros. I said, okay. Do you have a right to enter Germany? I said, yes, the law says refugees from Ukraine are allowed to enter. That's what the law says. I bring out my ID, my passport, and my permanent resident in Ukraine. I show them. He nods his head. He goes, he talks to his superior, and then he comes back. And he says, I have to get off the train. I'm like, for what? He says, because I wasn't born in Ukraine. I was livid. I'm like, what does that mean, I wasn't born in Ukraine? I've lived in Ukraine so long. Why would you say because I wasn't born off the train, I should get off of the train? I have a valid ticket. Why should I get off the train? I didn't stow away on the train. Why should I get off? They said, oh, we need to register you and then we can let you go. Uh, I spoke, there was a German lady uh, I met on the train. She was nice. We we're having a conversation all through in English. She told me, oh, I better have to comply that they said because I wasn't born, I have to do this. I said, they are not doing this for the Ukrainians. I also have the same rights as the Ukrainian residents in Ukraine because I'm a permanent resident. So why are you doing this? They said, because we have to register you. So we got out all the blacks, and this was just black people they were pulling off the train. So they took us to this holding facility. I remember the address. They took our passports. The address was in Nik Nikola Tesla 1 in Frankfurt is a big warehouse. There they segment it. Uh, they have, uh, they segment the whole warehouse. So they had to keep us in, out in the cold for like, I don't know, hours because there were lots of us. They said we had to take COVID swabs. They took COVID swabs. They will take your, your passports, they will bag it. They will take all the money, they will count it, they will bag it, and then they will write on it. Yeah. This is from the Buddhist. This is one of the bags they used to bag our personal belongings. As you see, it's still the same way. The, the cash that was on me is still the same, unhinged, untouched. I can't even be, bring myself to tell because I'm so traumatized by it. Uh, my bag, my bag has a tag. This tag was from Frankfurt. They tag your bags, they tag every personal belongings you have with a yellow tag and a code. Mine was A155. And this is something they made us understand that, oh, it's just simple registration. I even asked some of the Bundes police, so oh, one hour maximum, we're there for 23 hours. Then the next thing I experienced was the most humiliating thing I've never experienced in my life. They took me to a room, asked me to strip naked. I had to go bare naked. They said, oh, I'm like, what's this for? They said, take off all your clothes. And then they made me squat and do a turn around, show them my ass and all that. It was so humiliating because in my life, even going through airport security, traveling i've never experienced this i'm like don't you have body scanners for this even if you even if you're suspecting somebody their drugs or their drug moles this is not the procedure you don't tell people to go stack naked because you want to search them when i got to berlin the girl told me hey that thing you did there is not registration that's your whatever i said this tag i have it this is i brought a paper they said no that's for your personal records i've never experienced such humiliation in my life uh, each time I think about it, I want to cry, but as a man, my dad told me, don't cry, but it is humiliating. Somebody, a fellow man like me, would tell me to go naked. It is humiliating. It is. Because I'm trying to cross the country like everybody else.